Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Um, on today's clubhouse call, uh, we talked about just different marketing and um, you know, one of the, the marketing strategies that came up that I'm not, you know, 100% uh, familiar with. It's something that I didn't really ever focus on, but it's something probably that is coming back around and probably should be coming back around. Something that you guys should be thinking about doing is the direct mailing. And on uh, today's call, we just spoke about, you know, there's a local agent here um, that's not a part of our clubhouse calls, but um, is starting to really get traction um, into a certain neighborhood and hasn't been licensed, you know, that long, um, but has been sending out these mailers uh, consistently over the last, you know, 12 to 18 months. And now is starting to reap those those rewards and benefits of that by by becoming the go-to agent in the area with with listings um, and on the call today we, we just discussed kind of you know how the expense the time commitment and I and I spoke about you know how as a real estate agent there's ways that you can offset some of those expenses and typically you'll partner up with your lender you'll partner up with your uh, uh, title company um, but I want to challenge you guys to go out and find other local businesses that you can partner up and um, you know, you can put their logos and, and names on the postcards as well. And that could be, you know, uh, companies that, that homeowners would get benefit from, or that could just be local businesses. And, and for them, it's just a marketing, right? It's marketing dollars for them. So, um, you know, you could partner up with a moving company. You could partner up with a home cleaner. You could be partnering up with uh, an AC company to, to do servicing. You could be partnering up with uh, landscapers. You could be partnering up with uh, gutter cleanouts. You know, you could be partnering up with flooring companies, uh, home improvement companies. But also, you could be partnering up with the mom and pop restaurants and uh, you know insurance companies and everything else that that uh, you know people uh, need and utilize. You know, day to day, month to month, um, and they can help you split those costs. So instead of you fronting that bill of you know 300 400 500 600 plus a month for these postcards what if that was only 100 bucks what if that was only 150 what if that was only 200 bucks a month um, and you're getting the other cost uh, taken care of with these with these partnerships and also um, you know I spoke about how um, you know providing value right like what do you put on these postcards that's the question you know sometimes it's just just listed sometimes it's uh, just sold sometimes it's the neighborhood stats but i also think you could you can bring value to those homeowners you know and that's why i went to the mom and pop you know local business route is because what if you offered um you know a, a 10 percent off coupon to a local restaurant or what if you offered a discounted service for ac units right now it's, it's may so you know getting your ac service is important because people are going to start kicking on their ac units um, here for the summertime here in, in central Ohio. You know, what if it was a, a discount on landscaping or whatever? And, you know, that postcard, yeah, on one side it has your information and, and the real estate side of things, but on the other side, it's actually a value add to that homeowner. And you do that consistently month over month over month. And then you start showing up in the neighborhood, right? Maybe you start throwing neighborhood events and, and uh, food trucks and, and parties at the park or whatever. Um, and that's how I think you can kind of gain some, some traction um, and some, um, some market share. So just, just food for thought, you know, I, I know there's not a lot of people that do mark, uh, direct mailers on a consistent basis. Um, but I think it's something that we should be focusing on because uh, most people nowadays are focusing on text message marketing, you know, internet leads. And I think that may be an opportunity that uh, is coming back around is, is the direct mailers.